Ooh, it's a beautiful day today, you guys, at the lake. It's going to be 72 today and sunny. I hope you're all having a beautiful Friday. It's Friday, you guys. It's Friday. Okay, nope. guys, just got home from walking. But there's two yard sales down the road, so we're going. I don't know. Come Thanks. on, hon. Got to get there. Hold on. You waited this long. <laughs> we'll take you guys with us. Let's go, guys. Yard sale. Which way? There's the yard sale sign that's down this way. Look at those beautiful skies today. Wow. Yeah, yeah my friend was... Right there. Guys. Okay, I'll put you guys down my for a bit. Was... Well, that was too successful. Where's your keys? Did you lose them? You weren't pressing the button. Whatever, Michelle. <laughs> Whatever, Michelle. Whatever. We got a few things. I'll show you when we get home. Expensive woman. This one was a little expensive, but they got good stuff. Oh, I wish I, wish I didn't have a stereo in my room. That was a good deal. 50 bucks for that stereo. JVC. I'm going to go home and have some lunch now. i got to go and water my plants in my greenhouse. I'll make lunch for us. Okay, boss. All those tomatoes are to die for. They're better than any than the ones we got from Kingsville. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. I'll have to give take, them a taste. I should take that top and then bury it in the soil. Yeah, try it. Still got time. Everything's worth a try. You were, Let's go you get some try. lunch, you guys. You were worth a try. Time to make some lunch, you guys. I'm going to make Bruce three of these. He don't have to eat them all at once. But he'll have them on hand. I am thinking I'm going to do a bagel today. With cream cheese and tomato and pickles. Sounds good to me. Yeah. See, now they make these like paper. So they're, uh. I guess they'll break down. I don't know. They don't make them plastic anymore. They don't stay on. I've got four sets of eyes here watching me make lunch. <laughs> you want a piece of cheese? You want a piece of cheese? Okay. This is my pick my lunch. I can't find my pickles right now, so I'm just going to have them without pickles. Your rescue guys coming. I found her pickles for her. I told her I'd take care of her. Okay, let me show you our yard sale finds. You know, I I was thinking what to do with this mirror. I gotta, I'm going to clean it. But uh, he sits there and plays with it. So I'll just leave it for him for a bit. He he plays with it for... <laughs> it keeps him busy. Let's just say that. Okay. So I got these bowls. These bowls always remind me of... Um, Whipper, Whipper Hollow, is that the name of the channel? Yeah, <laughs> that couple's the same age as us, yeah. Now I need a little bit of ice. Can I still use these in the kitchen, even if they're chipped? Let me know in the comments below. You guys always help me out. I just, I love these. I don't know why I always love these bottles. And when I seen a whole set of them, I thought, wow. Ah, oh, yes, please. Yeah. Like, this one's chipped a bit, but... Is that just... That's just a bug. No, it's a chip. Let me know. Let me know, you guys. Can I still use these? Are, is this enamel bowls? I'm going to look them up on the computer. Okay, let me know about this too. Can I still use this? Uh, can I use this? It's like heavy duty. Heavy duty. I just, I loved it. 
Okay, then I got these two canning jars. Uh, I think five for both. This one is a, uh, well, I can't say that. Cor C O R O N A. Made in Canada. And this is a ball. Perfect mason. It's a blue one. Yeah. Okay, so this here uh, is a Scenti warmer. Look at that. <laughs> it was $2. I'm hoping it works. This is just so cute. Don't you just think it's so adorable, you guys? Look at that. Look at the little bird. <laughs> okay. Bruce got these suns. I think they were a dollar a piece. And then he got this frog. I think it's an instrument. Then I got this pan. Let me know. You guys think it's to cook pasta in? I don't know. What else can I do with this too? I just I just love things like this. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> I guess you could just heat up water. I don't know. Let me, I need your ideas here. Lots of ideas. Put them all in the comments. I just thought it was cute. I don't know why, but I did. Okay, then I got some um, some cookbooks. You know me and my cookbooks, I love to look at them. If I don't like them, I'll just donate them. You pay so cheap, almost free, free at yard sales. So, uh, this one has a, I looked at these. They have a few good recipes. Cooking, this is a, um, like a firehouse. Uh, I think these are firemen that cook these recipes. Okay, and I have to get it. This was $2, but I had to get it. But she gave me a deal with this and the cookbooks, so I really didn't pay for the cookbooks. This is the Amish, 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 Amish one. Yeah, I like, I like to look at that. And then that was that was the yard sale. Here I got all that. Then this lady, this is where I got the canning jars. She had all these cookbooks, and I don't even think she's ever opened them. And uh, it's Halloween ideas and then I, t I don't know why I got these but lunch box like different sandwiches ideas two of those lunch box I'll look at them if I don't like them I'll I'll donate them this is the uh, best recipes from the backs of boxes bottles cans and jars so I'll look at that this here, I thought, I swear I seen this at Costco. I could be wrong, but I thought I seen it at Costco. Uh, Wheelicious. 140 fast, fresh, and easy recipes. That's my style. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I'll give that a look at. Cooking with Trader Joe's cookbook. I just saw it. Ooh. I bet you there's some interesting things in here. So I got that. And then, uh, I like, is that the ladies I like? They look old there. <laughs> Are they aging or is this? I gotta see the date on this. Okay, I think this is the six sisters. Isn't it? You six sisters. Because in the thing, it says something about six sisters. To our wonderful and very supportive sisters, we blame them for our rap personalities. Six girls, one bathroom. You do, you do the math. <laughs> and then I got this one. I always like to have um, ideas, you know, just fun ideas. So, for the price you pay for these, even if you don't want them and you donate them, you're, you're not really losing any money on them at all. What do you like the best, you guys, in my yard sale finds today? Make sure you tell, tell me if I can use these in the kitchen. Make sure you tell me below. Okay, so today I want to clean the mess up here. There's not a lot of dishes to have to do. 
I'm cleaning this mess here. I just, I just can't take it anymore. And I just got to clean this shelf off. And then I also want to clean this over here. Uh, I still got winter hats in there. And, oh, I want to put the winter stuff away. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Oh, and I got the ground beef out. For our, we're going to make Mexican pizza. Mexican Taco Bell pizza. So I'll get that in the pan and just let it defrost. And yeah, I'm going to get busy here cleaning this mess up right now. I'll be back. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's take this down and recreate the shelf in one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to have a little break. Some apple and caramel. I got to get the caramel. But I'm, before I clean this up, I want to see if it works. So that's what I'm doing with that. I'm getting there with my shelf. It take, it's taking time because I don't want to crowd it. So tired of looking at a crowded shelf when I do dishes. I've had this caramel sauce forever and I keep forgetting to use it. So I'm going to try it. If I could get the darn thing open. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I swear. I swear. Is there anybody else as clumsy as me? I had this hang this hanging on the handle and I'm putting stuff to donate in it. And what do I do when I'm, I'm making my taco meat? I dump by accident some taco spice dumped in here. Now I'm afraid it's gonna, everything's going to smell like tacos when I donate it. They're going to think, what in the world? I'm putting it in a new bag so I hope that doesn't hope it doesn't smell. Well, that's all I can say. Okay, I know it doesn't look very pretty with all my vitamins, but I need to be able to get to my vitamins. I can't get to them very good in that cupboard there. And then they all end up here on the counter. So, I refill my thing, but I don't put my gummies in here. All these vitamins we take. I know, I know. <laughs> Well, I got that done. Now I just got a few things here to clean up. That Scentsy works. I tried it and it works. It melted it right down. So I got to decide. I got to clean that. Uh, decide where I want to put that. I wish that bird come in and out like a cuckoo, cuckoo clock. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tackle this now. Wish me luck here. <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, so, like we're more about organization than fashion. So I got the dog leashes in here, the poop bags, and now I need to uh, bring waters when we go walking because it's hot. And then I got the sunscreen and the bug, uh, the off stuff. Then we got some flashlights here. I don't know how long it'll stay this, like this, but I'm hoping for a bit. We put our shoes under there and our hats, our sun hats there. Let's hope I can keep it that way for a little bit anyways. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm washing my Scentsy. I thought this was dirt, but it's not. It's part of the design. These black specks. I thought, oh, here I am scrubbing, thinking I got to get it clean. <laughs> and it's part of the design. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put Japanese cherry blossom in here. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Let's make some Mexican Taco Bell pizza. You're going to need a pound of ground beef and a taco package. Make your taco meat. You're going to need tortillas. You're going to need some... Uh, refried beans and some enchilada sauce. You're going to need cheese, whatever kind you want. I got mozzarella and cheddar here. Green onion and tomato. Let's get started, you guys. Oh, I also have peppers. Mixed color peppers. Okay, so we're going to take the... You want two of these for each pizza. 
We're going to take these off and put them over here for a minute. We're going to put our meat on the bottom. Or no, wait. <laughs> Almost screwed up already. We're going to put refried beans on the bottom. Now, I'm not one. I've never really eaten refried beans. So I'm not... I don't know how they're going to be. So I'm going to go just spread this around on all the um, tortillas and I'll be back. Okay, I got that on. Now I'm going to put the meat on top of it. If I have any extra meat left over, I'm just going to freeze it. It's, it's perfect in the freezer and you can just pull it out. You can make uh, loaded nachos with it, whatever you have left. Or you can make more tacos. Whatever. So I'm not worried about having leftover meat. Okay, let's see how that is. Just gonna put a little more. You know Taco Bell's meat is processed? I've seen a show on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's slimy. I don't know. Well, we don't get Taco Bell around here. We gotta go either to Windsor or Kingsville for that. But, um, yeah, once I've seen that, uh, I don't know if I like Taco Bell anymore. Okay, so uh, it doesn't say to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put cheese. And that'll hold, the, that'll hold the next layer on without it falling off. But it doesn't say to do that. Well, this is what I'm doing. That way I figure it'll secure it better once it melts. Okay, now we're going to put the next layer on. found my bracelets up there on the shelf above the sink. found a few things. <laughs> okay, next we're going to put enchilada sauce on top of this. Instead of pizza sauce, you're going to use enchilada sauce. So I'm just going to go spread this all around. Okay, now we're going to put the cheese on top. And the tomatoes, and the green onions, and the peppers. I'll be back when I get all that on. Okay, I'm going to go get these in the oven, and I'm going to cook them for probably... 10 minutes till everything melts down into them and they're hot and then we will see you when we're ready to give it a try you guys well they look good you guys what do you think we're gonna taste them let them cool for a minute <laughs> they're hot i broiled them i did them for about 10 minutes and i broiled the top for about two minutes but you gotta keep an eye if you're gonna use broil you have to keep an eye on it very close Make sure you spray the pan. I almost ruined my masterpiece here. <laughs> spray your pan before you put your pizzas on. <laughs> okay guys, here we go with our Mexican pizza. <laughs> Let's try this. I have some salsa, mango salsa, and chips. And I have my happy cup gonna have the frozen lemonade and I, I don't know 
I'll wait to have it with Bruce. I am going to put some of this, a uh, little bit of this taco sauce <laughs> on my, oh, I almost ruined my creation. Am I going to be able to pick this up? Well, I was thinking of hardening the tortillas a little bit, but I didn't see anybody do that. Maybe I need a fork and a knife. Knife. Okay. Definitely crisp up your tortillas a bit. So you got me to experiment and then when you go to do them, you'll make them right. Mmm. I am a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. I have my watermelon napkin. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's okay. Maybe if I would have crisped up the tortillas a bit. It's okay. Let me have a few more bites. This is the mango, the mango, uh, salsa. Mmm. Here's some. You can have a chip. That's what you want. Not as good as the pineapple. But. It's good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm pretty happy I got those two jobs accomplished. I've been wanting to do them forever. in the kitchen that's been that shelf has been a mess above the sink for a while and I, I've been having to I should have put the hats and the gloves away like weeks ago but don't eat your paper from here <laughs> Tomorrow, I want to do under the sink, that area there, under the sink. One thing, one step at a time, right? That's all you can do, one thing at a time. And, uh, yeah, because we're not going to be going anywhere. Oh, I got paper. Crisp up your tortilla on the bottom a bit. And then don't put it on these papers. <laughs> um, I also have to get the back deck. I've got keys, or some people call them helicopters, from the trees. I hope I don't have anything on my face. Sometimes I do that and don't realize it. Um, I have to get all of them swept up. There's all over. I'm going to get that done. Because uh, uh, we can sit out there. We can sit outside. This is right now. It's The deck is full of helicopters. Yeah, I got that paper stuck to me. I don't know, like... I don't know what... Um, Taco Bell's pizza tastes like, but I wouldn't run out and get it. This is okay. Something different. Something I would say, oh, it's wonderful. No. Uh-uh. It's just okay.
I guess I didn't cut it very good. Like, I am a mess. My hands are a mess. <laughs> I'm almost done my book. I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it because, like, some people get mad if I talk about my books. But only one or two people. Four people want to hear about my books. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm just going to talk about them. If you don't want to hear it or you're reading it and you don't want to find out what happened, just skip ahead. Uh-huh. We're just sitting out on the porch. Needs cutting the grass. I did cut the grass. Well, most of it, yeah. It's got a little more to go. And, uh, oh, I'm going to watch the sunset go down over there. Hopefully I can see a deer tonight. Bruce is working on my other rocking chair. I'm going to have two red rocking chairs on the front porch. Yeah, let me turn you around. I'm so excited. I always wanted two rocking chairs on the front porch. And uh, we've been driving out in the country. I always see two red rocking chairs on the front porch. That's what I've always wanted. And Bruce is making my dream come true. He's just got to do the other one. These are, this one, uh, we got out of the garbage and we got one at a yard sale for 20 bucks. And this is trim class, so it won't rot, won't rot. And we had this paint in the shed. <laughs> so for $20, I'm going to have two red rockers on the front porch. Oh, bugs better not be coming. I want to sit on the rocking chair, finish my book. Oh shoot, <laughs> I got all the the keys brushed off the back, out on the back deck. It was loaded with keys, or helicopters, people call them that. So I'm just going to relax, finish my book, go put the chickens away, and mm -hmm. good night everyone. We'll see you in the next one.